Alright guys, we're back. So, hello everybody, and welcome back to Level With Me. My name is Mike, and we're continuing with our Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Again, this is going to be me doing a live recording, because again, uh, I think for the next episode or two, uh, yeah, I recorded myself, but I, for some reason the sound was buggy, and so you can't really hear me, so I'm going to record over my gameplay, and, uh, as you can see, last episode was definitely not the most exciting, kind of just us being a, oh, a Kingstone piece. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're kind of just learning some new mechanics throughout the town, and we went all throughout the town, and realized that, man, there's really not, there's really nowhere to go. And as I mentioned in the last episode, like, it's really, really aggravating when I, like, uh, when I actually see, like, what's actually happening, <laughs> or what, when I realize, like, where I actually have to go. Actually, what's interesting? I didn't notice this before. There's actually a Minish House. Okay, so I, I clearly... Oh, never mind. I, I guess I, I did notice it when I was playing, but I... I think I was concerned if this, like, sparkling tree was a Minish Point, and that's why I was, like, stuck here for a little while, because I'm thinking, like, oh, it has to be a way for me to turn Minish here. And that little, that little like, you know, that little vine right there. Like, there's so many things that make me think, okay, there has to be, like, a reason why I have to turn into a Minish. Or go, or go minish size, but no, we you'll see eventually that I'm just been so so stupid, and there is still one NPC we have not talked to yet. I thought I did talk to him, and as we saw in the last episode, I did not. Ah, uh, yes, this is from that Kingstone piece that we got from the uh, the weird creepy guy, uh, Hurdy Gurdy Man. <laughs> that's a creepy name. But that's kind of the cool thing with these Kingstones. If you align them, you'll potentially unlock these little like hidden uh, like caves and stuff and obviously they'll have some good uh, some goodies in there like a heart piece uh, stupid Octorox uh, uh, yeah and oh the minions are back the minions are back um, well, that was nice yeah I think that that's probably the first time I ever got like, like a nice little bomb drop because bombs apparently are a commodity in this game, and... I don't know. It always seems like I ran out of bombs very quickly in this game. I want to say I went northward here, and then, like, I I think I, I was so concerned, so confident that this is where I have to go, and I have to get these construction workers to, like, get out of the way, but I think they're meant to be there to say, like, yeah, like, you're not coming over here for a while because they're doing construction work, but... <sighs> Anyway, I think I'm going to have to use my little Ocarina of Time here and uh, time travel to when I actually do make some progress. So, I'll see you guys when I am... I'll see you guys when I make some progress and I'm not just spinning around in circles. Okay, so the Minish Woods had nothing for us except a few um, keys moving for... Uh, oh, that's right. I remember. So I did the whole. Apparently, if you hit the L trigger, then you can potentially do a Kingstone fusion with somebody. I think I randomly just did it with the construction worker. And I go, oh, look at that. He has a Kingstone piece, and we actually fused them. And uh, this didn't create like a cave, but it did create a treasure chest. Yay! Let's see what we got, Mr. Construction Worker. <laughs> they fit perfectly. Time to celebrate. I would rather celebrate you finishing this stupid construction work so I can progress in the game. Ugh. God help me. Or should I say, Hylia help me. Ho ho! And look at that, yeah, 200 mysterious shells. That's right, I'm really curious to see what these shells are for. Alright. I think for a little while I'm going to be doing, doing nothing again, so... Ocarina of Time, let's go time travel! Back in the town, back in the town, and oh, look at this guy. Do you want to fuse king stones? Uh, of course I do. And of course I don't have a blue one. Uh, ah! Yes, the security guard. Ugh, once again, I didn't talk to the security guard, or the whatever he is, the knight. Like, that's my problem. Spoiler warning, guys, that's where I have to go, and I never talk to the guy. And he will actually say, oh, you can go now. So you'll see. Ugh. So frustrating. And then I just spend another, like, five hours of my life rolling around this town like an idiot. 
like a big bubble blowing baby. Ugh. Ugh. I think I gotta do it again. All right, Ocarina of Time, go. And ah, uh, uh, what, what, what is this? Ah, uh, Mr. Mayor, do you have king? Oh my gosh, you do have a kingstone. Awesome. Oh, and it matches. Cool. I swear, if one of these things are like the actual, like, I was thinking to myself, like, if these were the actual things that actually, like, are what I have to do to prog progress in the game, I'll be so mad. And another treasure chest. Uh, good enough. Oh, yeah. Is it actually at my house? Like, in the, I, 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 I don't think I'd go there, which I probably should. Is it actually, like, at, like, at Link's house or my house? It might be. Hmm. Like in like the, the backyard or something, which I didn't know I can get access to. See, I talked to this guy, but why didn't I talk to the other guard? <laughs> I'll suck you up and then I can get past you. Or I'll fight you. <laughs> oh man, this is so bad. Uh, Ocarina time, go! Uh, I forgot I had the, uh, now that I had the Kingstone thing, I wanted to go over and talk to this guy because, you know, he, uh, mentioned Kingstones. I just planted a big old bean. It hasn't sprouted yet, but when it does, it's gonna be a big sucker. And I, and I was thinking, but wait, weren't you the guy who wanted to talk to me about Kingstones? And I, and he wouldn't, and I, I, I was clicking the L trigger at this point, and he would not, like, hey, I have a Kingstone, let's fuse, like, it's, ugh. So yeah, that was another waste of time. But he said there's a bean plant somewhere, so I'm sure I might have to come back in the future and that bean's gonna, like, grow into, like, a beanstalk. Like in Jack and the Beanstalk, or, you know, something along those lines is my theory. Uh, but once again, we're lost for a little while, so I will, once again, use the Ocarina of Time to, t to teleport us to the time where I finally can progress. So, Ocarina of Time, go! Uh, here we go, guys, and now I'm finally gonna go talk to this guy. Ho ho, so you've learned the spin attack. It's so dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Do the spin attack for me. Like, I'm so mad that I just now talked to the guy, and he's like, oh, okay, so you can spin your sword in a circle, then you can go kill the monsters. Like, ugh. But on the bright side, guys, we're finally progressing, and oh, look at this guy. It's a fox. I think those fox dudes were actually in a, a Zelda 2, uh, the, the, Adventure of, the Adventure of Link. I don't remember what they're called. Ah, more shells. Useless, useless seashells. Ah, uh, uh, man. On the bright side, guys, this is where we finally make some progress, and uh, I was mistaken because I thought we had to go to the northern area b above Minish Woods, but no, they wanted me to go to the northwest, which we, we which we're heading to, and it is like a mountainous area, which you'll see. I I, I forget what it's called. It might as well be called Death Mountain, but it's not Death Mountain for some reason. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool that they actually are doing like a different, like a different mountain or something. Like it's because it, 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 mo most Zelda tropes are like, oh look, here's Zora's Domain, here's Death Mountain. They're, like they're all the same things, but so at least this is different. Like there's Minish, there's not Farren Woods, there's Minish Woods, and there's not Death Mountain. It's uh, something else. Here we go, Mount Crenel. That's what this is called. All right, so now I finally realized where I had to go. Ugh. But I will admit, though, climbing up this mountain was not... I It was easy, but it just took a lot of time. And you'll see why. Because, you see that? There is a little seed here that I have to actually grow, and I have no way of putting water in there. Oh, look at that! It's a business shrub. Or shrub. Like the Deku shrubs. I'm sure some of you guys might remember, remember them from uh, Ocarina of Time. Okay, you got me. I'm the, I'll tell you something. A friend of mine in a cave just east of here has an item. You, if you're planning on going up Mount Cornell, I think you might need it. I won't get. It won't get you to the top, but it'll get you far. Okay, so this is where I was really mad. I'm like, <sighs> it's just like, just like a typical fetch quest. Like I come here, and he's like, oh, okay, well I'll tell you where to go, and then you'll get an item that you need to progress. Like, ugh. and then here's the other funny thing. I once again, ugh, I keep drowning. I keep East Trivi Highlands. 
Alright. So, this is where I said I have to go look for a cave somewhere in these highlands, and to, believe it or not, this also takes me a very long time to find. It's like, it's, it's almost like crazy just how confused I was during all this. And I shouldn't be. I should, it should not be that confusing, but I'm just that bad at Zelda games, clearly. And I think it's because it's just one of those things where you have to be, like, it, this is where, it, I guess it becomes like a true Zelda game because, like, you just have to explore. Like, it's not as simple as, like, oh, look, here's a cave, and then you go in here, and then there's, like, a, like, I, I thought it, I thought that was the case right here because, look, I found a cave, and there must be some kind of a puzzle here. And I, have to must, I must complete the puzzle, but, nope, you'll see this does not end up being the case. It's really, really annoying. <laughs> and then there's another little puzzle where, like, these, like, uh, you'll see. You'll see. If any, maybe you guys can let me, let me know in the comments below. Oh, where's... I see the cave. I see it. Why didn't you go in here, you idiot? And then I'll be like, well, you see, you answered the question right there. I'm an idiot. And that's why I didn't go into that cave. And you'll see why very, very soon. Okay. So I remember thinking to myself, this is a cave. And then I just realized something. You see that? Yep. It took me a very long time to see that little mound of rocks there. It's a true Zelda game, people, and I couldn't do it, <laughs> or it took me too long. By the way, I did not cheat, I did not look up anything for, so far for this game. It's just been taking me a very, very long time, and I have to travel through, I have to, like, speed things up for you guys, so that way you don't think I'm, uh, you know. And of course, once again, oh look, I can get an interview, but you need more money, so now I have to go and grind for money. Ugh, it just never ends for me, guys. The pain never ends. It's because they wasted all of my money on those stupid pastries in the bakery. Ugh. All oh, that money wasted. Uh -huh. Luckily, there's always money in these little rocks over here, but... Uh, just gotta get five more. One blue rupee and all my problems go away. There we go. Another seashell, but it's not rupees. <sighs> but anyway, I but despite all this, I'm still enjoying the game for what it is. So I hope you guys are enjoying the game as well as you're watching me play it. Please don't let my stupidity ruin the experience for you. Like I want you guys to realize how good of a game this is. I'm just a big dumb idiot, and I can't re I don't I can't figure out the simplest of Zelda puzzles. I mean, eventually I am. It's just that it's taking me a very long time, and it's aggravating. Ah, yes, the blue rupee. So now we can finally progress, get the item that we need. Any guesses what it is? It is a bottle! Yeah. Simple bottle for picking up water. Now, to be fair, if this was me, I would have said, like, well, I don't need a bottle to get water and water a plant. I'm going to go drink some water and, and just keep all the water in my, in my mouth and spit all over the plant. That's what I would do. If it was like life or death, and like you know me being me being linked, I have to go save the world. So I'm going to go do that. Oh. And then here it comes the the task of me learning how to collect water. There I go. I put water in a bottle. Yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was a sound effect from uh, Mario Brothers for the uh, for the uh, the beanstalk. <sighs> oh, you guys see that green water? Yep, it's gonna play a big role here. You'll see why. Eventually. I think these are supposed to be Tektites. They almost look like they're armored or something, I don't know. But I think they're just supposed to be ordinary Tektites. You know, the little, like, jumping, like, insect things. Oh, yeah, these are, I, I, I wasn't sure what these are, but I think they're supposed to be, like, tumbleweeds that hurt you if you walk on them. And, uh, I eventually do learn that, yes, you can actually suck them up with, uh, you can suck them up with your, uh, gust jar. Beware of crumbling walls. Blasting is strictly prohibited. Oh, really? Oh, that sounds like a crack in the wall. So, at least, again, the puzzles are, are like, they're, they're there and they do give you little hints on how to progress, so it's not the worst, but... 
I will admit that the thing I don't like about this area is that like there's just so much back and forth, and you'll see, you'll see why. It kind of makes the like uh, compared to the Minish Woods, which again maybe that was supposed to be easy because it was the very first like area, but uh, climbing up Mount Cornell is actually like a really tedious task. Ah, a Minish portal. The funny thing is. If I if I did if I did something correctly, I would have had I would have saved myself so much time, but I was just I was dumb. <laughs> so because we do have to go here, and uh, you'll see. So this perfectly normal looking stone was another portal to the Minish world. There may be other rock portals. Keep an eye out. So I actually can't cross those pebbles over there on the left, but I can go up here, and. Uh, Again, there was something that I did here that I'm really just... I'm so mad at myself for not doing it. So, when I climb up here... Uh, I don't know why I was attacking these guys. I think I was just looking for money. <laughs> um, when you get up here, you'll see I get to the green water, which is actually like, really important in Mount Cornell. Like, it, it, it is plot important to progress. And I didn't know that. I want to say... <laughs> keep drowning. I want to say I picked some water up. Nope, that's right. That's what the, right here. See, I'll, if I picked up water from there in my green, if I picked up the green water with my jar, I would have saved myself so much time. But trust me, I'll be coming back here in the future. Ugh, just wasting so much time. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, and I remember thinking to myself, "Oh, that was a waste of time." But no, I actually had to grab water there. You'll see. Oh, my puppy just joined me for the for the recording. Hi, buddy. Yeah, this is where things kind of just become a, a little bit uh, a little bit tedious, but at least it's kind of like straightforward of where you have to go. But I needed that green water. Uh, these things are kind of interesting. I think I remember seeing them guys in other Zelda games. You know, basically just the, the typical enemies that you can't hurt them from the front because of, uh, as as Lewis said, they have iron masks. So, just got to tag them from behind. Nothing crazy. But I do remember these, thinking these things are going to probably really hurt when they stab you. <laughs> oh, of course. How silly of me. My body. Jump into that whirlwind. Oh, my, my, my boy. <laughs> my body. My body is ready. And my boy, jump into that whirlwind, and I'll show you what happens. I'm like, Ezlo, you're a crazy son of a gun, and I'm not jumping into any... Oh, look at that! Because he's a hat, he turns into a parachute somehow. Ugh. And then I goof it all up right here. Ah, uh, yes, another business shroob. I don't know why I keep saying shroob. A Deku shrub. Oh, you got me. I'm making it by selling you my bombs. Ten of them for 30. It's like, no, I don't want bombs. Well, I mean, I do want bombs, but I'm not spending 30 rupees on stupid bombs. Man, these guys are swindlers. It should be more like, oh, look, you found me. Have ten bombs. And it's just like, you know, and there's a lot of reward. Or at least give them to me for a deal. Like, ten bombs for ten rupees. Because, like, typically bombs, as we, or, as we see, are like ten for 30. So they're three rupees apiece. So if you were to say something like, oh, well, I'll give you 10 for 10, I'd be like, okay, that's actually a good deal. I'll buy, I will gladly come here and buy them off you, but no. See, so, you know, us going through this little, like, rock tunnel, this is where the game gets very, like, tedious, because I'm constantly going up here. I think I just have to go right over to that little whirlwind. Ah, yes. Again, we'll be back here, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Admittedly, I do actually, yeah, again, like, uh, just, just please understand that despite all of my aggravating, like, whining and groaning, I, I really am enjoying, my, enjoying myself. Yeah. I think I realized, oh, yes, this looks like there should be something here. Potentially a spot to bomb. And I would be right. I can hear myself talking in the game, like, oh, I'm so smart, oh. Oh, 
I was a little shocked to see that this is actually like quite the simple, uh, simple little uh, puzzle. Got my got, got rewarded with some bombs, which is very nice. I think it was in here actually. Uh, I got my I got some rupees out of it. Oh yes, very nice. Ah, blue kingstone piece, which is good because actually now that I think about it, there was the 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 mayor. Was it the mayor? No, there was like an old an old man in town that has a blue piece, so I might have to go talk to him eventually. Alright, moving along. Oh gosh, I'm just yawning because again when you when you rewatch yourself play these games, it's like I mean it's good, but it's aggravating because I'm just so mad at myself for being stupid. And obviously here's where I realize, oh, I need a minish portal here. And there is nothing. And then here's something I, I do learn. You see these little like white things? I, I, I kind of felt like, huh, aren't they like in really like, unusual spots or and they're very like intrusive? I it took me forever to, to think. Like I I wasn't sure if they were tumbleweeds or maybe like webs for like those bug things, the tectites, but no, they actually they're actually uh well I mean maybe they are webs, but what do webs get removed by in this game? The gust jar. So eventually I do get the gust jar. There we go. There we go. Come on. And that's when I was like, oh. Yeah, look at that. Ah, yes. I think I thought that was a... Wait, I, I forget. Was this actually like a bomb spot or is that just like a... Uh... No, it's not. Interesting. I, I, I think I might have to go back here when I when I replay this game or when I continue with the game. Excuse me, because I uh, I think I, I think it puts me like a crack where you can jump into it if you're a minish. So here's actually where I run into my little roadblock because obviously all I have to do is go into the minish portal and then walk up there and go to that seed. However, that it, that peculiar seed requires green water, and I didn't grab it. So I'm just going to be going through, again, a lot of backtrack. It, luckily, it's all here within the, within the mountain, but it's just so annoying having to go back and forth, back and forth. And I honestly don't know why I'm wasting my time here with the the, with the, uh, the gust jar. I think I was just trying to see like if there's any like other like hidden goodies or anything, but... Ugh. Again, re-watching, I'm just like, come on, Mike, just hurry up! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, did I go over to that? I did, okay. Oh, that's where it was a Minish House. Hi, little guy. Water is life for Krennel Beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them, but the green beans like Mount Krennel Mineral Water. Ah, yes, that's where I learned about the, the, green, the green water. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, another Kingstone piece. Thank you very much for letting me steal that from your house. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so this is where I realized, don't tell me, I think I remember thinking to myself, like, oh my gosh, do I really have to go all the way back down there and get the green water? And you'll see, yes. But I think, oh, I think at this point I didn't think about the green water, I was just thinking, yeah, I have water from Mount Cornell. Oh, no, I think it's even worse is, but do I have water? I do, okay. So I think I pour the water, and I'm like, huh, nothing's happening. And then I just get so confused and realize, don't tell me I have to go all the way and get the green water. All right, that being said, I don't want you guys have, I don't want you guys have to see all of my stupid backtracking because of just how terrible it is. So let's go, uh, Ocarina of Time, go! So everybody, we're back, and we're going to go get some mineral water. Mineral water! <laughs> well, luckily, I did learn that you can, like, skip that little, uh... That transitional screen, whatever, when you uh, shrink. But ugh. all right, so gotta get the mineral water. Oh, I think I do something stupid too. Wait, do I do something? Do I do something stupid? Wait, I get the water. Okay. I was worried. I, I think I thought I remember myself coming here and then just like not grabbing the water and leaving like an idiot. <laughs> but on the bright side, it looks like we're finally on to the right path. So let us go. Play Jack and the Beanstalk and go grow that bean with our green water. 